you're a photographer, you're out of school, you've got the equipment, you understand it. What was the breaking point that got you into a career? Uh, I was very fortunate, actually. And one of the first people that really gave me some of my very early breaks was a, a, a wonderful person named Barbara DeWitt, who was the, the late sister of Bruce Weber. And she ran a, a PR firm in L.A., kind of a managerial PR firm, and she represented some great people that I loved. I was shooting a lot of rock and roll concerts. Some of the pictures were being published in local magazines, and I started uh, working. And she gave me early on in my career people like David Bowie and, and, and the sort to shoot. And this started helping. My big break, I'd say, really came with Interview Magazine. It was one of the first uh, publications that really helped launch my career with Andy. And, you know, there's a lot of pictures of Andy in the show. But working, shooting covers for Interview Magazine, getting to do layouts where they let the photographer do what they wanted. They didn't dictate. They would give us the star, and they'd say, shoot. And we'd do these great environmental portraits and have fun with it. And that, you know, getting published and getting the pictures out there, that helped really launch my career. My LA Works campaign was a big yeah. uh, part of helping me with my career early on in my career. And, and so much success depends on, on how lucky and how fortunate you are to ha- be in the right place at the right time and get the right people, regardless of your talent. There's so many talented people that never get there. But I had Streisand early on, Bette Midler early on, Dustin Hoffman and Tootsie. That was a big break. Yeah. Big chill, Scarface. You know, getting those movies at the beginning of my career helped Put every, you know, once you have that under your belt, then everything else kind of falls in line. People go, oh, well, you shot this one, you did that one. I was very, very lucky.